So Allah, listen carefully. Quran chapter 8, verse number 43, okay? Muhammad had a dream. And then in that dream, Allah intentionally showed Muhammad the amount of people Muhammad were going to fight against. He showed them in few number. The reason why for Allah doing that, because Allah said, and if I had shown them to you as many, if I had shown them to you as many, okay, you believers would have lost courage and would have dispute in the matter of whether to fight. So Allah is clearly telling Muhammad or telling this uh, people here, if Allah showed uh, Muhammad and his companions in dream that they were going to fight against many people, they would have lost courage. Because Allah didn't want them to lose courage, Allah showed Muhammad a few numbers in his dream. So Allah tricked Muhammad and gave Muhammad a few numbers so that they will have courage. That is what the Sheikh was trying to explain to us. He said this is um, psychotherapy. Allah is trying to play psychotherapy on them, encourage them to go and fight by lying to them with the amount of uh, the figure they were going to fight against. So now go back to the verse I gave before, Quran chapter 3, verse number um, 169. How do we know this verse is also not a psychotherapy? They are actually dead. They are not in the heaven receiving any provision. They are actually dead. And Allah is playing psychotherapy on you. How do we know this verse is not a psychotherapy? Like the Malam said, let me play that audio. Because if he already played a psychotherapy on his own prophet, you see, the prophet, the seal of the prophet, if Allah was able to treat him and give him, encourage him to do something by lying to him, let's say, because it is a lie, okay, let's say it how it is, uh, by giving him a false vision, if Allah, the God, was able to give Muhammad a false vision just to encourage him to go and fight, how do we know this is also not something just to encourage you to go and kill yourself for Allah? How? Think about this st statement. Let me play the shake one more time, okay? Let me play the audio here. It is in our local language, but it, it is a very short audio. Let me play this one, short one. Tell you, in the dream, no, you have to say that you have to say that you have when you are true, and yet you will try to you are not going to say, Oh, we are to be. And then the Yako Papa of Vesinum. It means on Castle, oh, we are to be. Mutin ye. Yamin Castle, a domino, or Mododo, a kid to be. But I say, May Manon, who is say, a kid to be, and on Yantro. Yamis, may Manon, who is say, Send ye a bayer, own bohun. And your friend is psychotherapy. Oh, psychini pano, Emma, a hubia, anka, a bad banishono, obituary, a dinner anno. This is the meaning of the verse of the Quran. This is the meaning, and yet deceit. And yet deceit. He said, It is not a deceit, it is not deceiving. But Allah wants to encourage them. He's trying to play psychotherapy on them for them to have encouragement to go to the war. So how do we know this verse 2, Allah is telling us that those who have died in the course of fighting for Allah, we shouldn't consider them as dead, but they are rather alive with their Lord, receiving provisions. They are receiving provisions already. How do we know this is also a true statement, but not something just to... You see, think about the verse. This is from the Quran itself. One verse, it is, it is clear. Allah because they were about to lose courage and dispute in the matter whether to fight that is into brackets okay that is into brackets so um you have to consider that too but he's letting you know that the, what the dispute will be about so if allah is playing this game with his own prophet how about you you, you that is the questions i am asking myself and maybe there are answers to this and if you have the answers, you just give it to us, but you don't insult. You don't come and attack anybody. That means you are just you are ignorant just as me. You have be you have you, you have become like a toy soldier. You are just a supporter of a religion, but you don't know the religion because what I am asking here is not an insult, it is a critical question. 
the God has already deceived his prophet, and the malam is telling us that is a psychotherapy. It, it will boost your immune system. <laughs> it will give you energy to go and fight. Now, the same God is telling us something in Quran chapter 3, verse 169, that those who have been killed, they are not dead. They are receiving their re re uh, provisions. How do we know this is not a psychotherapy tool? In the actual sense, they are dead. How do we know? How do we know? Think about this, okay? And then how do we know? Let's check another verse too. <laughs> Quran chapter 78, verse number 32, 33. Okay, Allah is promising us something here. Very interesting. I am interested. Hey, I am interested. But now, because I have seen the character in Quran chapter 8, verse number 43, what Allah did to his own prophet. Because of that, how do I know? Because Allah is promising me and full breasted of equal age. There is a breast here, some some breast. You see, it doesn't even say women. It doesn't say anything about women. According to this verse, it's not talking about, it doesn't say anything about women. All it says, and full breasted, full breasted of equal age. But you see, in our mind, we will consider as women. But we don't know. We have never been to the heavens before. It, it could be anything. Okay, it could be anything, but we will just say, according to this verse, Allah never said full-breasted women. He doesn't say that. This companion, that's what I said before. The ones in brackets, it is just for you to understand certain things. They have corrupted it themselves. In the Arabic, in the Arabic, it doesn't say anything like companion. It just said they are full-breasted. Okay, so we just say they are women. So how do we know? Allah is not trying to play psychotherapy on me for me to believe in him. And then he is promising me this because he could, he can also say to me then later on, had I not tell you this at all, you would have not followed me. But I had to tell you this so that you have courage to follow me. Do you get the point? So a God should be a, tr a true God should be trusted. He should be, he, he, it should be that I trust my God. But if I have seen, if I have seen that the God is tricking his own prophet, how do I depend on the God who plays psychotherapy? <laughs> how do I trust a God who plays psychotherapy, promising you beautiful things? Just like the politicians, one district, one factory, Ghana will become like whatever, when I become a president, Ghana will become like this, like Dubai. Ghana, you see what psychotherapy, that is what psycho, the, the politicians play psychotherapy on us. Whenever they are one power, they will promise you some things to encourage you to vote for them. But when they become, when they come in power, do you get what they were, they promised you? Psychotherapy. So now we are speaking about God. And if God is playing psychotherapy on me, how do I trust that God? How do I trust that God? That is what I want you and I. It, it, is, it is just like not thinking, just let us be sincere to ourselves. 